So how are we going to get this back connected to the gray pieces? My name is Stephanie Wajda. I teach at Sacred Heart School. I'm the computer science robotics teacher. The fifth and sixth graders start off with our Connects engineering pieces where there are gears and they have to work to build different models of gears. And then as seventh and eighth graders, we have Lego Mindstorms. Once they build it, they add the sensors that we're going to work with that day. And then we get to program it on the control and see if it can do everything that we want it to do. It's a really neat process. We learned about binary numbers and we learned about codes. I've learned like how to program the robots. I've learned how to I've had hand hands on with them. So it's not like you're just sitting behind a, in front of a screen the whole time clicking buttons and stuff. You're assembling the robots with the pieces. We had to like put this all together and then we had to attach the sensors and then we had to connect all the wires and on the screen we had to program it and then we test it out and see if it's doing the commands that we want it to do. We have sight sensors, touch sensors, sound sensors and light sensors that we program it to use. Now if I want to go into the RV program, I'll be ready and I'll already know what I'm doing. We started the robotics program here at Sacred Heart to kind of start thinking outside the box and be a little more competitive in not only the Catholic schools but at the surrounding schools. We are currently partnershiping with uh, Rancocas Valley High School and we're going to have their seniors come in um, monthly to mentor our students here at Sacred Heart. Uh, in the beginning we actually started with Drexel University who came in and they gave us a kind of a one-on-one -on -one crash course of what robotics is. Um, we jumped on the bandwagon and we had them come in and do a professional development for our teachers. As a math teacher for 15 years, problem solving has been the biggest problem, so to speak, and we need to find out a way to solve problems. When you have this kind of group activity, it gives them an autonomy to understand, experience each other's way of thinking, and really develop it. There's a lot to learn and a lot to do in robotics class, and our school is so privileged to have it, and I think that I would actually like to teach computer science robotics now, like because Ms. Watch is a great teacher, and she, um, she helps us like learn more about it, but I also think that learning about like the robotics also helps us with our science and math too, as much as math and science help us with robotics. And that kind of reaction gives me faith that it, it, it's not only great for the kids who are awesome and love engineering and really want to go for it and take that AP in high school in, in computer science, but also kids who probably may have hated math before. There is an, there, there's something there that they can connect to that really becomes part of their learning experience. This is just giving them a basic knowledge, a basic foundation, and this is just, you know, the starting point. They're going to progress so much further and advance throughout their school career.